Good morning. Welcome to Core Fitness, home of CrossFit Updog. We're here today to release our first wide for the up upcoming Salt Games, which is hosted, of course, by CrossFit Updog. What we're going to do today is go over the first workout, which is a speed triplet plus workout. This workout is going to include four, three different movements on a ladder type rep scheme of four reps, then three reps, then two reps, then one of each movement. The first movement in this triplet is a power clean. The second movement will be a front squat. The third movement will be shoulder to overhead. Once again, you're gonna complete these movements in a rep scheme of a four, three, two, one ladder, which would mean you would do first four power cleans, then four front squats, then four shoulder to overhead. After that, you would progress to three reps of each movement. After that, progressing to two reps of each movement, and then finally finishing with one rep of that move of those three movements. In between each rep, you're gonna change weights. For the RX, those weights are gonna be for the set of four, 165 and 95. After you complete four, you will then have to readjust your weights to come to the next weight. That will be 185 and 115 for your set of three, then 205 and 135 for your set of two, and then 225 and 155 for your set of one. The scaled weights would be as follows, 115 and 55 for your four reps, 135 and 75 for your three reps, 155 and 95 for your two reps, and then 175 and 115 for the final one rep of each movement. The way this workout is gonna work for the individuals, they will have a five minute time cap to complete that ladder. Once they've completed that ladder, they, have, they can continue to rest for the remaining of that five minutes. As soon as the clock hits five minutes, they will then have two minutes to establish one rep max at all three of those movements. Power clean, then a front squat, and then a shouldered overhead. Teams, they will have a nine minute time cap for both athletes to complete the ladder. Then they will have three minutes at the end of that nine minutes to establish a one rep max each for the power clean, front squat, shoulder to overhead. These movements for the one rep max must be done in a complex. Once the bar comes off the ground, it must stay off the ground until you complete the shoulder to overhead. Must be a power clean. Front squat or a full clean does not count as your front squat. So you have to power clean it and then go into a separate movement of the front squat. For the teams, the same sex teams, partner A will complete the ladder in the four, three, two, one rep scheme. Then partner B will go the opposite way. One, two, three, four. That way there's not nearly as much changing out the weights. For the co-ed teams, the female will go first. And once again, that allows us with our equipment to allow you to change your weights out more efficiently. On the partners, partners may assist in changing weights. So take advantage of that. You may help your partner by changing the weights. Now for both, for both uh, individual and team, you see there are two scores. It will be two individual scores, almost like two individual wise. So there's two opportunities to score here. The first one is the time to complete the initial ladder. The second one is your one rep max for your power clean, front squat, and shouldered overhead. Now we're going to go to the movement standards and go over each of these movements as we would go in the, uh, in the order we would go in. First, we're going to go through the whole set of four. We're looking at four reps of power clean. So bar starting on the ground every time, elbows clearly get in front of the bar at the front rack position with shoulders, hips, knees, ankles stacked on top of each other. So fully extended when you're standing, elbows in front, bar must go to the ground each time. After you complete four consecutive power cleans, then you will go to four front squats. What we're looking for here is to start in the end position. Start from a standing position, hip crease below the knees, and then fully extend back at the top, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles stacked once again. So that would be four reps of front squat. Then you go to the shoulder to overhead. We could do a shoulder press, strict movement. Another option would be a push press, a little dip drive press, as long as the bar finishes at the top, fully extended over the shoulders, or a push jerk. As long as, once again, you finish at the top, bar over the shoulders, completely stacked, or a split jerk. Split jerk, as long as the feet come back together, perfectly acceptable. All of those movements went from the shoulder, 
finish in a locked out position over top. So we're finished with the four reps. Now it will be time to adjust the weights. Individuals, you're gonna be adjusting the weights by yourself. So switching the weights out here. As soon as the weights get switched, and we will put collars on each time. Collars must go on the bar each time. So now he's ready for his three reps of each movement. So that would start with three power cleans. Once again, each one starting from the ground. 